I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning, guys. Good morning to all. Uh, if you are watching from other parts of the world, uh, good evening as well. And good afternoon if you are in the East Coast. So uh, this morning, let's talk about a uh, Big Bang, okay? Big Bang baskets from, hold on a second here. The Big Bang basket from uh, IMS. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. So this one you can get it from Amazon right now. Okay, I got I do have a link down below as well. This is called Big Bang uh, by uh, the IMS baskets. I mean they um, IMS makes a lot of baskets, folks. Okay, uh, if you guys are into filter baskets, IMS, VST, a uh, Pullman Max One. Uh, goodness, now we got Posados getting into high yield extraction baskets as well. We got the Uni baskets. We have a S work. I mean, who else? I feel like I'm, you know, left out a lot of people. Okay, a lot of people there. So uh, even Normcore makes uh, high ear baskets, and the uh, 3H bombers. Okay, they all makes baskets, guys. It's insane. All right. So I cannot cover all of them, but I do. I do want to cover the basket from Amazon. All right, for sure, because they're. The fact is, if you don't like it, just return it, okay? If you don't like it, just return. So if you don't know what a uh, Big Bang basket is, again, it's an IMX uh, basket that give you a lot of high yield extraction, especially 54 millimeter. There's a lot of basket for 58 millimeter, by the way. There's a lot of basket for 58. I mean, like Pisado makes uh, high yield baskets, they only make 58, okay? Uni basket from Weber, uh, wonderful. Great things about it, 58. Uh, WAPO baskets, okay, they are uh, $200 baskets, all right? The baskets are fantastic, stainless steel, $200. They only makes 58 millimeter. But IMS is nice enough to make the 54 millimeter basket for our friends owns Brabber Breast Express or Pro, any kind of Brabber machine that I use a 54 millimeter port filter, okay? so. Um, I'm glad, okay, IMS is uh, stepping up, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad about that. So let me show you what uh, this uh, basket look like compared to stock basket, okay. Well, uh, here's, here's what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip the camera toward the windows here, okay. So this is, there we go. So this is a stock basket. Okay, stock baskets. Let me show you Big Bang baskets. Okay, so this is stock, Big Bang. Look at the size of the uh, diameter. You're gonna have a lot more holes. More holes means you're gonna have a faster extraction, faster, uh, sp uh, faster flow, okay. The flow is gonna be faster. Look at the size of it. Look at the down coverage there. Big difference in sizes. Okay. So increase in flow rates. Uh, you can actually grind even finer. Okay. The finer grind size means uh, higher extraction. Okay, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be taste better, right? It's all about the taste. In the end, okay, I don't care what's the extraction rate is. If the taste is better, what's the point? But uh, let's so let's play with Big Bang basket. All right. So again, 54 millimeter. Uh, let's do 18 gram. Uh, I like to go like 18. I mean, they do make like 21 gram baskets as well. I don't know how many people use the 21, 22 gram baskets, but um, you can fit a lot of coffee in it. Uh, 18 gram, one to two ratio, you are looking about 36 gram output. This is about 20 gram basket, so like 40 gram. So it really depends, you can go one to two, one to 2.5, one to three, so you're gonna have a lot, you're gonna have a lot of espresso, okay? So let's taste that, uh, 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 taste, uh, test that with, Built-in grinder, okay. As you can see, I do have some grinders on my back, back view, but 
I mean, not most of you have separate grinder at home. So, so let's use that with just a built-in grinder. By the way, my built-in grinder is getting old, okay? Getting old. So it's going to struggle a little bit, all right? But that doesn't mean it's going to die on me anytime soon, but yeah. But still works. Uh, I know some of you out there use 22 gram baskets, all right? That's a lot of coffee. Okay, I, personally, I like 18. I don't know about you guys, but I like 18 gram. Okay, I'm just gonna measure out 18 gram. I'm using uh, dark roast from Good Brothers Coffee here. Neapolitan style, okay. Neapolitan means kind of like classic Italian style coffee. All right, grind size of my Brisa Express this morning. Let's take a look. Grind size number six is my grind size this morning. Okay, number six is my grind size. All right. All right. I like to use a 3D dosing funnel. Though. Okay, makes it a lot easier. If you don't have a 3D dosing funnel, I highly recommend it, all right? Can you guys hear that? Little struggle, okay? This machine has been through a lot over the years, so, but still works. Tap it on the top. Okay. And then I do like to do a little bit of WDT. Okay. This is my homemade wine cork and some uh, acupuncture needle there. Just, just gently, all right? Declump everything. Just declump it. All right. Just declump. Looks pretty good. Okay, just enough, just above. Uh, let's see, tools. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, you could buy, there's a lot of tools out there for Brista Express, especially 54 millimeter. Okay, not like before. They used to, you don't have a lot of tools for that. Only a couple of companies makes it on Amazon, but nowadays, everybody makes it, okay? Even Posado makes right now. Even like San Anthony's been making for a while. Okay, they make some pretty nice tools too. And uh, who else makes it? Uh, goodness. Even Pullman makes. You got Pullman. Uh, let's not forget the uh, Gnomecore. Yeah, so they have a lot of companies out there makes uh, filter. I mean, the tools for 54 millimeter. Okay, for sure. Uh, I mean, even they even make puck screen as well. Okay. All right, uh, let's pull the shot. See what kind of shot quality we're gonna get out of it. I'm just gonna do a dummy shot here. Again, my grind size at number six right now. I'm gonna lock it in. All right, guys, so let's take you guys close up here. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna set my timer. Okay, grind size, and here it comes. It's about 10 bar. Grind size is too uh, fine there as well. It 
Și alux frigata. Yeah, I think grind size is a little fine, okay. But yeah, shot looks pretty decent, I have to say. Okay, let's give it a try this shot. By the way, the one thing I don't like about Akaya scale, I mean, if you have a little bit of water touch the display, it's gonna be messed up the display. Okay, the reset itself. I mean, that's the one thing I really don't like about Akaya. I mean, they're pretty fantastic skill, but man, just don't like it, okay, because you got to consistently reset it. So do not spill water, okay, any kind of liquid on display there. All right, hold on a second here. I'm just going to clean my scale. Again, my grind size number six right now, okay, and then uh, uh, we're going to do one more shot, okay. I'm, because I, I want to dial in with uh, Big Bang. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Man. A little bitter. Okay. You can usually tell by the, the how long that shot was. It's definitely bitter there. So let's do one more. But as you can see, I mean, you saw the flow rate, right? I mean, that's, again, I mean, this is a grind size number six with a dark rose. I mean, that's pretty fine, okay? So I'm gonna be maybe like one notch up, okay? I'm just gonna go one notch up. Hold on a second. So now I'm at seven, okay? The reason why I like to start the grinder before up or down, uh, up, not as bad, okay? But if you are down, if you are going down the finer size, let's say if you are using hopper, all right? Sometimes uh, if you go down without the running the grinder, the one of those being stuck in the gear, it doesn't let it, even though you hear the click, but it's not truly adjust down. So just make sure, especially going down, make sure to run your grinder, okay? Just run your grinder to go down as well. All right, here I go. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out. As you can see with the bottomless pulley filter, especially, I mean, you see the extraction right here, okay? It's not an evenly extract, okay? I mean, you can see the channeling right there, okay? That's also a great thing about having a bottomless pulley filter to kind of like see what happens right there as you can see, okay? So that's the little channeling going on. I'm just gonna flush that one more time. So let's do it one more time, okay? By the way, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. We are playing with a Big Bang basket from IMS, right? I don't know how people come up with a name like that though, okay? Hold on, I'm just gonna reset my scare here. There we go. But meantime, uh, if you're a first time joining us, let me know on the live chat, okay? I'd love to acknowledge you guys are here. Okay, we have uh, Mr. Rainbow is always here. We have Gustavo. Let's see here, we've got Carlos. I think Carlos just got a little Bianca. Okay, that's a nice machine. Okay, okay so we have a Scarlet. Probably cause the basket pattern look like an explosion. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you haven't joined us on our Discord, uh, I think uh, our friend had a pretty good time playing poker game last night. So we do like kind of like social event, you know, uh, at least a couple times a week. Okay, I don't know exactly, but uh, we have a few guys uh, on Discord. They play poker. So if you join our Discord, I mean, everybody can join it. They're free of charge. There's no cost involved. The one of the app built in the Discord is a poker night, okay? You can actually play poker with all the members. All right, I think, I think about four or five people played last night. So if you guys are interested, 
let me know, okay? Let me know. I'm going to put the, my Discord link on the comment section as well. Okay. All right, let's do that one more time. Okay, let's do that one more time. Again, I'm going to use the same grinder. All right. 18 gram going in. And then I change my grind setting to 6 to 7, kind of one notch up. Okay. So, if you own a pro, uh, one notch on Express is like two notch with a Bravo Brista Pro. Okay. Because Bravo Brista Pro give you the half, the half step increment there. So, right here we go. Let's do that one more time. Again, it's a little slow, a little tiring, but that's what happens. It's getting old. Okay, it's getting old. Here we go. So you have to go a few more times. I mean, I own this uh, machine for like five, going on five years now. Okay, going on five years. I mean, it works still great. Okay, don't get me wrong. Okay, I make great coffee out of it. I'm just gonna do homemade WDT tools. Speaking of WDT, uh, I think we're gonna talk about WDT tools next week. Okay, I'm getting very special WDT tools coming next week. Okay, so, la so let's talk about WDT tools. Should be a fun topic. All right, should be really fun. I'm just gonna tap it in here gently. I mean, again, so this is a one notch up, okay? Six to seven. So hopefully, the Bruce, Bruce asking me how hard to replace the motor. You know what? Man, I bet you it's, it's not easy, okay? I mean, I don't think it's not going to be easy to replace the motor on the uh, the grinder. Yeah, I have not seen it yet, uh, uh, Bruce. I mean, if you see the video, how to do it, let me know. Okay, I'm just going to lock it in here. So shot number two. Okay, so last one was over extracted, way over extracted. Hopefully, this time around, we're going to have some better results. Okay. Got my scale. I'm going to do the exact same ratio as the last time. Here we go. I'm going to start my timer here. Much better. Oh yeah. Much better. So just above nine bar. Thirty seconds right now. Good. Thirty seven, thirty eight seconds. 34 gram. That's a lot better than the last one, for sure. So this is a uh, grind size number seven, okay. So six to seven. I bet you if I go to the number eight, uh, we should be right on it. Look at the, I mean, this shot looks really amazing. Okay. Looks really good there, all right. I mean, it's, it's definitely, this is a nicer shot than last one. Lots crema. There you go, cheers. Happy Saturdays to you guys as well. There you go, let's try. Oh yeah, a lot more balanced, a lot more fuller. Yeah. Much, much better. Okay, so much better with that built-in grind. By the way, I, I know some of you thinking about upgrading your coffee machine, okay, from Bravo Brisa Express or Pro. 
instead of upgrading your machine, upgrade your grinder. Okay, so that's my recommendation first. Get the grinder first. All right, get the grinder. Because you have to get a grinder anyway. Okay, eventually you have to get a grinder to move on to the next coffee machine. So instead of spending $2,000 on a coffee machine, spend really nice grinder first, match that with your uh, Brista Express. Okay, and they keep using it. All right because it's going to be definitely worthwhile for sure i mean so i mean people are watching right now okay so which grinder should i get okay what is the best grinder for that it's all depend on your budget okay comes to grinder how much money you want to spend on it okay if answer is you know what Hun, i just want to spend 500 bucks or less i want to spend thousand or less 15 or less two thousand three thousand okay there's no limit to it. If you want to spend ten thousand dollars on grinder, there's grinders for that as well. Okay. If you want to spend five grand, okay, they have a price for that too. All right. So you have options. Okay. So again, so this is great, great time for if you are in the market for grinder, because they, you have a grinder for every price range. If you want to spend only two hundred bucks. You have price for that. You have grinder for that as well. Okay. If I if I want to spend hundred bucks, okay, there's a price a uh, grinder for that. If you want to spend fifty bucks, forty bucks, this is a great time. Okay, great time for uh, if you're in the market for grinder. All right. So I think uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about grinder uh, next week. Okay, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna talk about how to buy grinder in 2023. Okay, especially this year this is great time okay it's fun time I love it S speaking of fun I just got a uh, hold on a second here guys. I don't know if you guys uh, watch my channel I own a p64 okay p64 comes with a Meisenberg so this is a gen 1 Meisenberg they just released a gen 2 okay gen 2 so 62 millimeter burrs, Gen 2. All right, the coated, beautifully designed. Okay, so this uh, Meisenberg is known for give you the sweetness and texture at the same time, kind of like hybrid. Okay, they're pretty amazing birds. All right, so we're gonna talk about that as well. Again, if you're in the grinders, this is great market, great time. All right, great, great time. So, I mean, don't get discouraged. I know some of you out there, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, that's great. Okay, I want you to be overwhelmed because you are spending a lot of money on grinders, okay? You have to do your research. Do your research. Do not trust, all right, people out there, okay? People talk about grinders on, especially YouTube or Instagram. Do not trust that. Uh, see for yourself guys see for yourself because the the best way to find out if grinders you like ideally okay go talk to friends or you know someone has that grinder go visit them all right and then taste you can read about it okay you can read you can go to reddit i know some people goes to reddit like uh home brista forum you can read all day long but they are written by the people, okay, everybody has a different taste. Some people love, you know, sour coffee, okay? Some people love bitter coffee, okay? So it's all depend on the, what kind of, you know, person get write that, you know, article, okay? Sounds great, but if you tried it, you're gonna love it, you're gonna hate it. You know, you might say, oh, it's, it's not the best, but whatever you read about it, whatever you watch on YouTube or Instagram, that looks amazing, okay? The beautiful shots, all right? Those beautiful shots of espresso, that looks amazing, right? Guess what, is that tasty? I don't know, okay? I mean, whenever, if you say my videos with a beautiful shot of espresso, uh, I mean that, okay, I use special beans for that, okay? I use special beans. Uh, just right blend give you that beautiful thick crema okay some of my tasty espresso I ever had 
that looks terrible comes to uh, shot, you know, comes to the look of the shot coming down from the portal filter. You know, it's not that pretty, but very, very tasty. But it's all, all depend on, you know, what, what you're looking at. Okay. So, uh, so all my videos I post, especially my shorts, usually darker roast. Okay. A medium to dark, give you that beautiful shots. But looks tasty though. I mean, they're, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Okay, they're dark chocolate, creamy. Yeah. Okay, but sometimes you know what? If you want something fruity, complex, uh, those beans are uh, usually light roast. Usually Ethiopia, Costa Rica. Yeah. Anyway, hold on a second here. Uh, hold on. We have a uh, Bruce say cost uh, cost of a new motor replacement. Nylon gears and new birds may not be, yeah, it's not be worth it, yeah. Uh, we should do cost and, okay, that sounds good, Bruce. Uh, and maybe we should definitely visit that as well. Uh, we have Surge, Surgeon G is uh, ask, did you already talk about the version of Big Bang? They're available. I don't understand the H value. The H value is a height, I believe, okay. That's the height of the basket. Okay, so is the uh, as you can see, it's taller there. Uh, you can fit more uh, beans in it. Okay, so they have a chart. If you go to Amazon page, they have the charts. Okay, so I'm so this is like 20 gram. Okay, you can fit like 22 grams. Uh, I'm using the basket that one size smaller, so I can. They usually 18 to 17 to 19 gram basket there. So it's all, all depend on how much coffee you wanna drink. All right. But in the end, I mean, I, I prefer 17. No, I prefer 18 gram baskets. I know some of you out there lo loves 20, 21, even 22 gram, All right? I mean, it's definitely better extraction this time. Okay, for sure. So, built-in grinder, it does the job, okay? It does the job there, so. But I mean, if you are ready to move out to the next level at this point, definitely think about the, uh, uh, just get a separate grinder. All right, just get the separate grinder. Hold on here. Okay, hold on. I think we are, are we done for that? I think we are pretty good for now. Okay, so again, uh, Big Bang. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, I have to say that's uh, interesting basket. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. I, I'm just go to Amazon page right now. Yeah, the H value is the. I, I believe that's the height. Okay, and then they give you the charts as well. Uh, 25, 23, 27. Yeah, there we go. 25 is a, a 16 to 19 gram. So that's what I have here. 25, 16 to 19. The 27 is the 18 to 22. Okay. 18 to 22 so I mean if you like 18 gram basket just go with the 25 uh, 25 is good uh, 29 bucks so that's kind of like same price as IMS okay and uh, if you want to go with the stock baskets I wish that's free from Bravo but again the stock baskets uh, here we go that's maybe good for 16 gram okay 16 grams so uh, I mean, so if you want to upgrade one thing on your uh, Bravo machines, definitely the baskets. Okay, definitely get the basket so you can uh, get a bigger dose. Okay, 16 gram is not much. Okay, if you do a one to two ratio, that's only 32 grams. So yeah. All right, hold on. Brenda say, what type of coffee would you recommend for duck roast? And for the roaster that ships? Oh uh, man, that is a lot of. There's a lot of coffee roasters, goodness, throughout the country. Even your local roaster, uh, try your local roaster, all right? And, but I mean, if you're looking for something, you know, safe, I you know I've been using uh, Good Brothers Coffee a lot in this channel uh, because I have their coupon code, okay? I got 15% off coupon code, okay? Neapolitan is pretty safe to drink. Not that safe means they're very forgiving, forgiving as well. Okay, 
that is to dial then, all right? Plus 15% up. So I, I, I'm going to put the coupon code after this. Saka, if you like the Saka coffee, I know Troy talking about it. Saka is a, also, that's a, from Italy, okay? That's classic as well. That's really classic dark, you know, dark roast coffee. So they're also great as well, okay? That's, they're, they're all good, okay? Pretty safe. If you like coffee, that is a coffee, right? But if once you start uh, dabbling into Ethiopia or other single origins, that's completely left, uh, left field, okay? Uh, that's something you have to kind of like play with it. So, I mean, if you are just starting coffee right now, medium to dark, okay? Getting feel comfortable drinking some, you know, good coffee. These coffees are so much better than store-bought, for sure, okay, by far, by mile, okay, definitely better than uh, store-bought, you know, any other uh, coffees out there, okay, so start with that. I know it's not cheap, okay, I think a Brent is selling for $16 per, what, 12 ounce right now with a 15% off coupon code, so price is pretty decent, compared to if you go to Costco right now, okay, Two pound bag, right? Two pound bag for what? 19 bucks, 19, 20 dollars. So 10 dollars per pound, okay? But that's all relative, all right? If you go with some uh, some place a little fancier, they sell you by not 12 ounce, they sell you by 10 ounce, okay? You are looking at 20 dollars per bag. So it's all dependent on what, what you are getting into, all right? I mean, if you are used to spending $10 per pound, obviously $16 is too much for you. But, I mean, that's the, I mean, that's what you got to do. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Justin, uh, do you think the 64 wheel performs well with the light rose? For yes, definitely. All right, they have plenty of power. All right. And then with the 64 millimeter, gosh, you have a lot of options. Okay, it comes to burr options. I mean, everybody coming up with the 64 millimeter grinders, okay? So, I mean, SSP, Burrs, if you want to upgrade, man, the SSP is the aftermarket, the Burr manufacturer in Korea. Yeah, he's doing well, okay? He, uh, he done well himself, so yeah. So, I mean, SSP makes fantastic Burrs. Different design, right? A different bird design for bring out different flavor. Okay. Uh, let's see here. You know what? So I just play with the built-in grinder. You know, how about before we go? Okay, let's do pull one more shot. Okay. I know we got some. We got few people. Uh, make sure to thumbs up on this video. Okay, we got fifty people watching right now. This fine Saturday morning. So I just play with the built-in grinder. Uh, let's play with, you guys want to see with, I got three options for you. P64, DF83 with the SSP in it, or DF64 uh, Gen 2 with the stock birds. Which grinder you guys want to see with Vista Express right now, okay? Let me know in the live chat, okay? Let me know. And then let's pull the shot. Any request? Meantime, I'm going to get my coffee ready here. Any request? Hold on, I'm looking at your comments. Okay. P64. Go all out with the EK. Uh, EK is not good for duck roast. Okay, that's EK is good for light roast. So, Rain say P64. Okay. I'm just going to get my beans ready. Is there only one person? DF83. Uh, we're going to do that next time. Okay. Okay, hold on. Just the P64. That's it. Okay, we're going to go with the P64. Yeah. I'm gonna go 18 gram going in. Uh, Nick say niche. Okay, we got one niche, all right, and one P64. 
Look, who else? Anybody else? About 49 people watching. Uh, Troy say niche. Oh, man. Two people say niche. Okay. Bruce say niche duo. All right. Uh, P, uh, P64 Gen 2. DF64 Gen 2 there. DF64 Gen 2. Okay, good. 2DF. All right, we need a tiebreaker. Okay. Ryan say too many choices. Hey, that's life, buddy. I like choices. Okay, we need a tiebreaker. Niche or Gen 2 DF? Oh, hold on. We have three. We're going to go to Gen 2. Okay, Gen 2 DF 64. Okay. I know some of you watching, uh, watching it for a while, the last couple of days. I'm telling you, the Gen 2 has an anti-static built-in, so I don't have to worry about uh, the RDT anymore. I really appreciate that. Here, let me show you guys close up here. Hold on, here we go. I'm just gonna pull right in. Pretty clean. That's it. Very clean grinder. Not a whole lot of static there either. So I mean, uh, so I mean it's fine. Okay, the stock birds. You know, using it for what last couple of days now. It's not even seasoned yet. So, three ninety nine, I think, on the Joe's website. So price is uh, really reasonable. If you don't want to spend too much money on grinders, uh, that's a good option as well. And uh, you know, I mean, if you want to really go all out, you know, get the maybe aftermarket birds, but don't spend the money yet. Okay, take your time. All right. I mean, take your time to, sh you know, get the, uh, get the birds. Because birds are not, not cheap. It's about 200 bucks. The problem with, uh, uh, so this is the 58 millimeter. It's not going to fit here. Okay. So if you can, just get yourself a nice dosing cup or maybe dosing funnel. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to switch over let's pull the shot here folks okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit of WDT here do some distribution Quick tap. That's it. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna clean the puck for a second, okay? I don't like having a dirty puck. There we go. Let's pull the shot here. I'm guessing the grind size, so hopefully we're gonna have some good grind size. So my timer. That's much better shot, guys. So th this is about nine bar right there there we go okay don't worry about the 25 grain this is more than 25 grain you see what happens there a little bit of channeling uh, uh, hit the, the uh, liquid hit the touch screen here 
kind of like pause it okay but look at the shot quality so this is a just a stock burst from DF Gen 2 so let's try this cut looks much better looks much better cut Again, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay, let's give it a try. So this is a DF64 Gen 2. Okay, uh, shot was, looks pretty good. Cheers. Yeah. Smooth, cleaner, dark chocolate. I can definitely taste it. Little sweet creamy yeah, it's, it's good okay I have to say uh, so a built-in grinder is a uh, conical okay so that's flat burr so flat versus conical there's already a difference already okay the fact is the F64 behind me the Gen 2 is not even seasoned yet seasoning means you have to go through like a couple of pounds of coffee beans through has a sharp edge to it you can you, you need a dull out first but I mean with just a plain stock birds as you saw, I mean, I, I mean, they are pretty good uh, entry level, uh, you know, grinder for sure, especially with the anti static built in, the plasma generator. So, yeah. So, they are pretty good grinder to start with. Okay. I think Joe is selling. I'm going to put his link as well. Okay. Anyway, uh, comes to Big Bang Baskets. I mean, I like it. Okay. I mean, the fact is, I like that you know you can get it from Amazon okay you definitely you guys can try it out and uh, you know this definitely if you don't have basket yet if you only have a stock basket uh, IMS is the really good basket to have at home all right especially 54 millimeter okay I think they makes a lot of basket for uh, 54 millimeter so Big Bang is another basket from Amazon Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. I'm, I'm going to see you guys uh, maybe tomorrow. Okay. <laughs>